magic. That's just amazing. So I've got some small little dents from a Chinook extension, which has um, the color of the extension has a little, a little wider bit on it. And when the boards get washed in the surf, um, it's, it's, it's caused a few little dents on the top. If you try on slightly. Um, so I'm tackling them first and last week I also managed to uh, put a rather big dent on the other side of my knee um, which should come out hopefully we'll, we'll have a crack at that um, obviously the idea is not to overcook the board so we're heating up to about 80 degrees um, and that's doing the trick beautifully, quite quickly as well, actually. So let's have another go. So over here, so quite gentle. 35. Forty-six. Sixty-one. Try not to fry my uh, <coughs> my seat. There it comes. It's popping up. Yes, yeah, seventy-three. So it goes really gradually as well. There's seventy-nine. It needs to be around eighty. Uh, you can't go over because you will then damage the materials. But yeah, the foam and the, especially the Dyneema will hold it together nicely and it has memory. That's if you can call it that. Well, that's what Balco calls it. He's the man, isn't he? So just got it as hot as we can here. That is absolutely mind blowing. It is totally gone. Wow, that's magic. Is anything else good? Fairly warm now, of course, the board. That's, uh, that's pretty good, huh? We're good that we've got another one here. So, we'll get to work on that. Fifty two, still there. Seventy two, still kind of there. Oh, I think it's going now. It's going. Yeah, eighty three. So that's where we are between eighty and ninety. Don't go over ninety. I'm sticking with that. That's beautiful. That's just gone. Wow. That is something else. Look at that. That's pretty spectacular, really. My brain is kind of tricking me now. No, it actually is no longer there. This is something. That is quite, quite something. So another one here under the H. 
you can feel it. It's hard to see it was the graphic and because of the curve of the board. These are definitely lifted. A little bit of a Only the extension is dragged from here to here. Let's get to work on that. That's where we're going now. 28. Sixty-eight. Well, the heats are quick. The heats are quick. That's the thing to remember. You have the witchcraft calling. You want to do this? It goes quick. Just be careful. They don't cook it. Eddie. I can see the line, but I think the dent's gone. Let's give it a little longer. Oh, there it comes. I can actually see it. It's cooling down again, so let's give it a bit more heat. Just a double check. So I can see... I can see the line on the on the no slip where the extension is dragged over it. Um, even through the padding, really, you know, that's how pronounced that that color is on the Chinook extensions, which I obviously have taken that off and got myself a unifiber one. This is a really small little ring. Um, that works beautifully and it doesn't protrude out to the point where it creates enormous dents on the deck before. Right, so <clears throat> this one here is by far the biggest one um, on this side, and that's before I'm going to have to tackle this little one here, which I can include a photo of in the screen in a minute. Kind of see where it is. Um, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So let's see how we get along with this. Surface jack 27.8. Let's get to go. Now, the tools of these um, this heat gun, this heat gun. Um, cost me about 20 pounds. So it's just a basic chain stripper job you get from your hardware store. 49. Nothing sophisticated. Um, and you can use it to uh, repaint the shed. Once it's dry. I think it's coming out, it's 50, it's about 60 degrees now, 58.9. I just want to see if it can go in real gradually with that increase. You know, that's as hot as we can get it. I've actually just exceeded the 90s, 90.5. I'm just going to let that cool down. But it has popped up really nicely. This is wow! This is this is this is magic stuff. Man, you gotta love these balls, don't you? They are something else. Yeah. A bit hot, but the dent's gone. I can see the mark. Ah, this is spectacular. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, I was talking about the tools. 
This is about 20 pounds. Uh, so whatever, probably about 25 euros in the uh, euro land. Um, and then I got one of these little things, which, um, you know, take the temperature of your, of your, so there's two settings. It's got a surface setting, it's got a body setting. Shoot myself here. 36.3. My temperature hasn't risen with uh, <coughs> this nerve wracking, nerve wracking behavior. Putting a heat down on something you love and this is so expensive, and you obviously don't want to uh, damage. But uh, I was a bit nervous, I'll tell you that, about doing this. As you can imagine, but I listened to the guru. And now we're going to tackle this one here. I don't know how well that would show from there. This is one of the production boards, and over there, I've got one of the. custom ones and they seem to have a slightly different paint. Um, this paint is slightly thicker or the coat slightly thicker and I've noticed it does chip a bit quicker than custom boards but hey ho let's go oh. I have to change the body, we're not measuring it. It's got a it's got a baby icon, now it's got a house icon. 21.4 degrees. This little thing was 16 pounds. Um this is quite amazing. It works on batteries. Didn't come with it of course for 16 pounds, but hey. 16 pounds, probably about 18, 19, 20 euros. So yeah, I'm just gonna cover this this, this area here. Here's a, the crack that's under the paint here, it goes about there, it's about that, that size. Um, the dent is pretty much in the center here. I think I've landed with my leg and this bit, so it's cracked. And the paint, maybe a little bit of the fiberglass top layer. So we're going to heat that up. Give it a little seal later on. But it doesn't need anything else. It's the beauty of these things. Let's see where we are. 59. I'm just going to gradually do the whole area and just keep on coming back to the part where the indentation is. But I might as well just cover the whole area. It's, it's, it's that supposed to balance. That's ideal. I'm a just a 90, uh, 79.6. 79.6 and just under. I bet the temperature of my house is going up nicely. Moving this thing around. Now, <clears throat> my mind will probably be playing tricks with me, but it looks like it's coming together. Um, the actual separation of the paint seems to be um, pushing together a little bit, so that will that kind of tells me that obviously the dent is rising up, and it it it, it kind of pushed that together. So I didn't want to see it before. <clears throat> I did this work um, to allow the materials to kind of come together a bit before I seal it with uh, a little bit of Mega Power Gorilla Glue, which I splashed out on £7.49. So, around about probably about 10 euros in the continent. Something like that. It's pretty neat stuff. Um, so 
So we just dropped a little bit. Not different than uh, drying your hair. <laughs> Line dries really quickly. There's not much, not much to dry. I'm just giving the board a bit of a blow dry. Well, you can always go and work in a hairdresser maybe if uh, your career goes wrong. We are, what, 73. We can go up a little bit. I just want to push a little bit more. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, the little part that was under the pane seemed to have dropped and pulled back in again. The part where the dent wasn't as pronounced, that paint has come together. That's it's interesting. I'll, I'll do a bit of a close up on this in a second. And oh, not really the glasses. I don't see the dent anymore, and it seems to have come together a little bit more. So I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, it's, this board's going on, Michael. <laughs> What's going on? Make your mind up, heat it up, cool it down. Bowker probably has something to say about my method. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's the first time I do this a true amateur work, doing a, a class job. And that's not my skills, that's the material of the boards, of course. But hey, I'm claiming it anyway. This looks beautifully. Beautifully done, there's no dent. There's no dent left. And this this is a little bit hotter to touch, I'll just leave it for now. <coughs> Let's get the, uh, the camera out. Now that here, that little bit there where the paint was cracked, and uh, it may have damaged the fiberglass a little bit, but that's fine because underneath the fiberglass, you've got your, um, you know, you know, whether there's a little bit of carbon under here, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but um, the whole board is covered in Dyneema underneath there. It's got a PVC cover and a Dyneema cover underneath the fiberglass. So if you get anything like this, um, the damage will remain on the surface, which I think is super smart. You should never really have to worry about um, watering grass and that kind of thing. Um, it's gonna take a lot to to break Dyneema. So what I was saying is here, like the whole crack was like this, where the paint kind of uh, separated and broken off. Um, obviously this is the part where the dent was. And because the dent was here, more paint has broken off and you still see a little bit of a line, but that line was visible over here as well. You can kind of see it. Uh, that paint has come together. That You can still see the line, but the paint's gonna to come together. So that tells us that the material has indeed resurfaced and has taken its original form. Um, what's also quite interesting is that on this section here, um, you could see something underneath the paint. Um, which has now completely disappeared. So I think the, the, impact, the impact of the impact of the dent, let's feel it. It just feels to the touch. There's no dent anymore. And there's no dents here anymore either. It's like new. You know, this area here has lots of little dents from that Chinook extension collar. Um, which if you have one of those, get rid of it. Not the extensions, they're pretty good. 
but get rid of those colours and get yourself another one. You know, it cost me twenty pounds to get a unifiber one. It's a really funky little metal things. Um, you know, RDM extension is all the same size, so that fits nicely. And then you don't get your extension bashing into your board. Right. Um, well, that's as much as uh, my DIY skills will allow me to do. I'm going to cover it up a little bit with some some of this stuff. Uh, you know, it's Gorilla Glue. That's that's pretty good. You know, it's impact tough here. Look, it 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 also it also is hammer test proof. But okay, there you go. So it's a good match. It's got a little brush, so I'm going to brush that on just to seal the paint. Or, you know, if the glass has a little bit of damage on it, it will then at least be sealed. Um, should be transparent, hopefully. He says. Right, oh, well, that's about it. Uh, we have a long video on the technicalities of these things. And um, yeah, that was fun. I'm really, really pleased with the outcome um, of that. I hardly see anything on that side. It was mostly that side because that's where the um, the extension protruded, you know, on that end and then um, left me a whole bunch of little dents. Um, this is a really bad design, really, but uh, you know, let's not slag off Chinook. I, I love the product. It's um, all the other stuff, like my mast base and extension. Uh, it's pretty darn good. So um, just that little collar design isn't great. But you can fix that yourself. Uh, anyway, here we are. Um, good stuff. Loving the way you can fix these boards.